Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. It's Floyd. This bout is scheduled for four rounds of boxing. Fighting. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. Todd is one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. We're expecting an all-out offensive display. Punch, counter punch. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Not a lot of defense here at all. Crowd is dressed to impress here tonight, and the fighters promise to do the same as we cannot wait for this, our main event. We're getting everything tonight, and you know what? When you're in a theater, you know you've got to perform. There's no cutting corners. There's no making up excuses because you're going to be so transparent or laid out there. Both men step back for just a moment. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice counter punch. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Neither man really defending themselves. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. <laughs> Trying to answer back. A perfect counter shot. It's obvious the spider is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about a one-sided. And there's the bell to start round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. We wanted action and they are delivering. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Good left hand. Both men step back for just a moment. A 
as it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with him? I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope. You've got to hope they run out of steam. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. And he misses with that jab. Perfect punch. You'd like to see more jabs. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. And time. Good counter punching. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Not a lot of defense here at all. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. I hope this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Ooh, that really affected Floyd there. How is he still on his feet? I thought that was the end, but here we go again. Back into the fire. just misses with that big right hand. 
Lands with the This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, this is the time. Come on. On to the fourth we go. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. So that left lands. That one will count. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to fight it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And a counter left. And he misses with the left uppercut. They exchange punches. That left scores. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Missed him with that uppercut. Right punch. <laughs> Left counter scores. That's another scoring shot. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. We knew it was going to be close, but that's as close as it gets. No one wins, no one loses. This fight ends in a draw. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree, I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward 